What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Andy the Destroyer, Ruiz. He does have a choice pick of, of the opponents, and they are Adam Kalnaki, which is the undefeated fighter. He's going to take on Helenius very soon, and Chris Ariola. Now, when I first heard this, this is a no-brainer. Me counterpunching Andy Ruiz. If he wasn't going to take on Luis Ortiz, what makes you think he's going to take on Adam Kalnaki? So I don't even think that this is really a choice. I think that this is a way of giving two particular options just to get you interested into a fight. However, Chris Ariola and Andy Ruiz, they have sparred together, and Chris Ariola was saying how good he was to be a big guy like he is. But Chris Ariola is coming off a loss, and I think the tune-up fight that Andy Ruiz was referring to is Chris Ariola. I mean, what better way to start back your career by taking on a soft touch? But the thing I don't understand is you wanted a, you wanted a soft touch, but you didn't want to get paid. So I think he didn't want to risk another loss fighting Dillian White or Luis Ortiz. And Luis Ortiz is on his side of the street. So that tells me automatically that he's going to pick Chris Ariello. They're going to fight. Now, it is a Mexican um, fight, and I think Mexicans will show up. Chris Ariello is a good, durable guy, but he's a journeyman at this point. He is, what, 38, 39 years old? That's a no-brainer. And I think that Andy Ruiz wanted a soft touch, and I think he wants less risk as possible which I don't understand, but I do see this is a PBC thing. See, the reason for those guys getting the type of reputation is the top fights, like Rob McCracken said it best, the best should fight the best, or the good fighters should fight the other good fighters. See, Andy Ruiz was just months ago the unified heavyweight champion of the world. How would you go, why would you go from Anthony Joshua, bypass Dillian White, and Luis Ortiz, you mentioned Adam Kalnaki to fight Chris Ariola. That's the type of thing that you that is making people mad about the PBC or uh, some of the PBC cards because not all of them are bad. But it's like it's a cold day in hell when we do see a good fight, when we finally get a good fight, and that, that's really hardly seldom because what happens? They wait and they wait and they marinate and they marinate. Then someone gets beat. Look at Jamal Charlo. Look at Deontay Wilder. Look at all these type type of fighters that waited and waited and waited, you know, and these fights never happened. Look at Keith Thurman with Errol Spence. Errol Spence wanted to be that guy. He couldn't be that guy. I know Keith Thurman was waiting on the, the fight, the payday. You can't blame him. But then, you know, a lot of these fights that we wanted to see never gets made because of those reasons. People think that we can, they have to wait and wait and wait instead of giving the fans the fights they want to see. Now, Adam... Kalnaki is a guy that's, that did the same thing. He could have fought Dominic Brazil. That's another fight, another example. Andy Ruiz will stay on the redemption list, but there's going to be a change coming soon, people. So, you know, uh, stay tuned for that uh, because there will be new names added to that list, okay? But as of right now, he is number one on the list, and there's a reason why, and that's why he stays on the list for fighting someone of a choice of opponent like Chris Ariola. Dillian White would have been great because that keeps him in the loop of interest. Now he just goes back, and it's like, it seems as he's fallen through the cracks again. Like, okay, who is he? He was once this guy. Now who is he now? That's what it's turning into at this point. But, of course... Andy Ruiz, you know, I think they want to be careful. They want to make a, a, a regular Al Heyman check. You know, they don't want to go for the gusto. They don't want to take the risk. So if you don't want to take the risk and you don't want to fight the best, you're going to end up like the rest. Okay. On a milk carton. Missing. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think about Andy Ruiz's choice of opponents. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys can counterpunch. Peace.